Hey, this is Ruka, or better known on Twitch as Yasmin777. Or you just say Yasmin Triple Sets. Whatever floats your boat. So something that I need to do that I haven't done, and so many people have been asking for an updated guide on the FPS fixes for BDO, because let's be honest, we've all noticed them, whether you get drops, stutters. I mean, the old one that I have still works for most people, but I'm going to just share what I have tweaked more in terms of just like, you know, just getting a better feel for it. Also, I'm going to describe like, well, not exactly describe it, but I'm just going to show you the settings I have in game and the way I have them set up in the control panel, which allows me to see when I'm in a bubble for PA a lot better. Yes, it kind of looks a little bit potato, but it's a lot better experience than it being so full of color. And then I just can't tell, you know, what, what buff I have on me. This just allows me to see so much better. So let's just go over the basics and I'll just show you my settings in game. So when I go to my settings, right, and I go to my display, performance settings, I don't really have anything on. Like I have it all off, optimization, whatever, everything off, low power option, off, 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 all of it. I don't use it. I go straight to my display, to my game window. I'm actually on full screen window. Full screen, I actually get about 140 frames. Full screen window is where I need to play, especially when I'm streaming to tab in, tab out. All those fun things, right? I don't have crop mode on, I just have UI on default. That's my screen settings. Okay, now to the nitty gritty. Everybody's like, oh, what are your graphics? Because some parts look good and some look, you know, obviously a little dulled down. Well, in my display quality, I'm actually on medium and very low and still sit roughly around 50 to 60 even when I'm streaming. So, I mean, it kind of fluxes depending on where I'm loading and when I'm running through a city, obviously you're going to see drops regardless, but it's not there for very long. So I actually don't use anything. I don't have anything on. And people are like, it still looks good. I don't have anything on. I have remove others, and this actually should be on as well. I don't use it. I don't use low power. I have nothing on, pretty much. Effects, I actually have it set to none as well. My gamma and contrast are zero. Effect opacity is 100, so you can see like the basic stuff that you need to see. And combat focus, no. I don't use color vision aid. I probably should if I have uh, viewers who have complained about it, but no one has so far, so. <laughs> okay, camera graphics, all the way up, and everything else all the way down. Screenshots, whatever you want. I don't really use it. General settings, simplified. I use aiming, I use quick. I'm just going through everything so people understand. I don't like to see other people's shit um, unless I'm PvP. Pardon my French, but it's true. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so We've got that, but you're like, well, how do you get some of the detail? I mean, look at this. I can see detail on my tamer. Well, now we go to the second thing. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my control panel. Boom. So, first of all, easy, easy mode. I mean, I will take screenshots, and I will put it in the description. So, manage 3D settings. Program settings. These are my settings for BDO. I'm going to scroll back to the top here. So, ambient occlusion, although it says it doesn't have it, it's got it built in. We all know this. It's obvious. But this is where the kicker, all those settings I didn't have on, I actually have them overrided in my control panel for BDO. I have it on times two, on, on, override, times two again, and off. This is my global setting, it's just always on all. Maximum pre-render frames one, and the MFAA on. Now people are like, oh wait, don't these kind of clash a bit? And yes and no, especially when it comes to BDO. I've noticed that if I have either one or the other off, it looks worse. So if you don't like MFAA on, you can turn it off and keep the FX, but I feel like it gets fuzzy. And if you reverse it, it feel like it gets pixely. So weird as it is, I like having them both on at the same time. And I've done my testing. It works for me that I have both on. It gives it for me a nice image, it might not for others. Now we're gonna scroll down further. So obviously select your GPU. Some people might not have the settings I have and at that, that point you're gonna have to do some testing and, and figure it out for yourself. I don't actually turn this on. This one's globally off. I feel like it ends up giving me more stutters and fuzziness and I'd wanna be able to see what I need to see. Maximum performance, you can get away with other settings. Some people like it on adaptive, but to be honest, should be on prefer maximum performance. I actually know somebody who plays on adaptive and it works better for him. Don't know why, just does. Shader cache should always be on. 
uh, texture filtering on. The uh, LOD bias, I like clamp. People have it on allow, I like clamp. I feel clamp works better for my BDO. I can't explain why. Somebody probably can in the comments, but I'm just sharing what I've tested. Even if I, I probably looked it up a long time ago and knew what it was, but now I don't. I'm just going over what I definitely did change. High performance. Here, this is a mood point because this can cause some pixelation. Some people like it on quality or just regular performance. I actually have mine on high performance and I know on certain things, especially like if the wind is blowing, my tamer's hair, it looks really wrong. But I don't look at her from the front when I'm PVPing, so it doesn't really bother me. It kind of gives her like a ball, like she's wearing a wig. It's just kind of funny. It doesn't do that if I have that on quality because it'll actually load all the pieces, I guess. Try linear optimization on, threaded optimization on. Triple buffering I actually have off. I used to have it on, but it seems to run better with the settings I currently have as off. And then obviously VSync off. Virtual pre-rendered frames, one is my global. So that's pretty much what I have in terms of my program settings for BDO alone. Obviously, don't forget that if you have a, you have to right click your BDO and go to your properties, so I'm bringing that up right now. Uh, in your compatibility, make sure that you have disable full screen optimization and run this program as admin and change the DPI override and set it to application if it isn't already. And I already have that set up, so we're good to go. Now, another tweak, another FPF fix that we've noticed that came out of nowhere sometime last year in the er middle of November that a lot of people like, huh, I don't remember that ever being there. If you actually go to your Black Desert folder and you know, you go to your documents, you go to your Black Desert folder, there should be a file in here. Sometimes people get it. It happens from crashes, reload screens. It should actually say dump on it. If you do, just drag it out. If you don't feel like you want to delete it, just drag it out, put it on your desktop, and, re and make sure your game was closed when you did so, and then relaunch your game. I personally just straight up delete it. It should not be in there. So from what somebody explained to me what happens for that is that when your game crashes, you get a load screen. You rubber band backwards, or the game kicks you out for any reason, any disruption. It creates a cache file explaining the crash or error code that just happened. Then it sends it off and it's supposed to activate an EXE deletion to clear the dump folder and then it goes away. However, that's not always the case because something might have stopped the EXE from deleting it. So it creates an infinite loop of trying to delete this file that doesn't delete because it's constantly saying delete, then the EXE fails. And then it creates another file saying that that EXE failed. And it keeps looping and looping and looping and looping and looping. It can cause compatibility issues. It can cause loading screen load, like slowness. It can cause lag. It's just a whole issue or something along those lines. Uh, when we first found it, somebody in my chat actually had 19 gigs of files in there. And he's like, oh my god, what is this? He deleted it, fixed everything. 19 gigs. I mean, it had screenshots of when I would freeze on screens all the way from back from last last year's, no, like January. I'm like, what? That was when, you know, around like when the servers were about to come up, pretty much. And I'm like, you're kidding me. That's so long ago. So I got rid of it. Fixed a lot of issues. Now, this may not seem as much of an update as anything, but a lot of people were wondering. There's not much difference to what I already did other than not using the settings in game. Do not use the settings in game. Bada. No. Either way, if there is anything I can think of, I will put it in the description below, but that's more or less what I've changed. That's it. That's all I've done. Other than get shadow play, which I'm recording that on right now. <laughs> so it's been a while. I didn't really change much, but I had to keep up and change a few things and this has definitely helped. So if you guys want the original fix for NVIDIA, I will most definitely put that in the description, as well as this is the new one, which has a few little tweaks and tidbits in it. Make sure that dump folder isn't there, okay? Also, uh, a quick little fix. Sometimes, even with these fixes, I do sometimes get down to 30 frames and it'll lock there. Unfortunately, it doesn't really stay there forever. All I have to do is open up the map really quick and close it, and my frames go right back up to 60. Just thought I would throw that in there if you guys are actually doing this fix, okay? 
So this is Ruka, also known as Yasmin Triple Sevens on Twitch. I'll see you again, and I hope this helps some people. And again, may you have the frames. May the frames be with you. All that in frames. Yep. Bye.